Hello students, I'm Simona Picchini, I'm a senior investigator and clinical pharmacologist on drugs of abuse and doping unit at the National Institute of Health of Rome, Italy. Today we will start a new interesting learning episode of Introduction to Alcoholic Beverages. This episode is divided in six different modules. Module number one. Introduction and definition of alcohol. Model number two, alcohol concentration in various alcoholic beverages and consumption. Model number three, absorption and elimination of alcohol. Model number four, alcohol withdrawal syndrome, drunkenness. Model number five, examination of alcohol in body fluids. Model number six, conclusion. Alcohol dates back to the ancient time and to the beginning of the society. Its formation occurs in anaerobic conditions from glucose present in fruit. Sugar fermentation that brings to alcohol occurs in yeast. The sugar is that of fruits and cereals. Yeast is formed in anaerobic conditions. A fermentation occurs which transforms glucose to arrive to ethyl alcohol. The presence of alcohol dates back to very ancient times. Maybe it occurred as a casualty, for example in honey left back in a place. A fermentation occurs and alcohol was formed. The first alcoholic beverage reported by the ancient time is the beer, because wine arrived with grapes and other alcoholic beverages with the development of cereals. Alcohol comes from an Arab word, al kul spirit, like the spirit of God for the sensation this beverage brings with it. The presence of beer was observed in Mesopotamia 6,000 years ago, and also it was described in the Egyptian paper. We know that one Indian dies each 96 minutes due to alcohol, the per capita use of alcohol in India passed from 1.6 liters to 2.2 liters in the last two years, and it is consumed by 30% of men and 5% of women. Alcohol accompany meals, but it can also be a drug of abuse. The epidemiology in Western countries is very different. We pass from the 30% men consuming alcohol in India to the 60 or 80% of men consuming alcohol in European countries and US. 11% of Indians binge drink. Binge drinking is defined as the assumption of six alcoholic units, one after another, just to reach a sense of drunkness. The World Health Organization defined one unit of alcohol, the amount of alcohol contained in one can of beer, one glass of red wine, one little glass of whiskey, and one shot of vodka. World Health Organization never recommends the use of alcoholic drinks because alcohol is a teratogen substance, but 
World Health Organization, writes down that the consumption of two units of alcohol per day by men and one unit of alcohol per day by women and one unit of alcohol per day by people over 65 years of age is not dangerous for health. If we observe very huge epidemiological studies, it is reported that usually the percentage of possibility of life for abstinent is less than moderate drinkers, but it is more than heavy drinkers. So, as the expectative of life, we have moderate drinkers, abstinent and heavy drinkers. Not all the drinks are the same. For example, red wine contains resveratrol. This substance was studied as a protector from cardiac diseases. But we cannot drink one liter of red wine to protect from cardiac diseases. It is advised to drink one glass of red wine per day to have the beneficial effects of these substances. On the other part, people who drink more the advised units by the World Health Organization have more than one of relative risk to develop very severe disease, such, for example, cancers. In the last time, the association between cancer and drinking of alcohol has been supported by many investigators, apart from all the other diseases, liver diseases, for example, associated to the consumption of alcohol. We already spoke about the consumption by the Indian population. Let's see the Western world. Let's see, for example, Europe. The country which less drink alcohol is Turkey. Then we find the Mediterranean countries, such as Italy, Greece, France, Spain. Then we have the central and northern part of Europe. Here, the most drink alcohol beverage is beer, while in Mediterranean countries is wine. Wine usually accompanies food, while in the northern countries, northern European countries, beer is drunk in pub without assuming any food. This is a very huge difference because the absorption of alcohol in fasting versus the absorption of alcohol is different. In the first case, is faster than in the second case. So the peak of blood alcohol concentration is reached before. In the eastern part of Europe, the most consumed alcohol beverage are spirits, especially vodka. If we consider then America, this is an average consumption. But if we then consider the problematic consumption of alcohol, we see that in the southern countries, Mediterranean countries, the percentage of problematic drinking is statistically less than the percentage of problematic drinking in northern part of Europe. The binge drinking, drinking six units or more than six units of alcohol in one occasion, is most common in northern part of Europe than in southern part. Alcohol as a problem, as an addiction, is then the characteristic of eastern part of Europe. For this reason, the expectative of life is lowered by 
20 years in Eastern European countries with respect to the Mediterranean countries. The first stage of alcohol maybe is before in the Mediterranean countries than in the northern countries because it is a family habit. While in the other countries, alcohol is firstly consumed outside the house. It appears that starting using alcohol within the family is a protective factor versus problematic alcohol consumption. Because in the first case, it will be also a tendency of moderate consumption of mainly wine during meals. With respect to the consumption out of the meals, in other country. Nevertheless, we have to say that the fashion of binge drinking is coming all around Europe. Alcohol is easily absorbed once consumed through the stomach and then to the old digestive tract. The kinetics is very fast. We have to mention that liver is able to metabolize 6 grams of alcohol per hour. One unit of alcohol, so one can of beer or one glass of wine, contains more or less 12 grams of alcohol. So the total metabolism of one unit of alcohol occurs in two hours. Aldehyde dehydrogenase is the liver enzyme which transforms alcohol and metabolizes it. This enzyme is more developed in men with respect to women and in Western population with respect to Asian population. So, women or Asian population are more at risk to have an alcohol acute intoxication and a tillic coma. We have then to consider that, as I told you before, the presence of food lowered the absorption of alcohol and the possible acute intoxication. When we consume alcohol, in terms of minutes, we find ethanol in bloodstream. And then it is eliminated with its metabolites through urine. The measurement of blood alcohol concentration back is a measurement of eventual alcohol intoxication. Since back cannot be measured, we can measure what we call BREC, breath alcohol concentration, which is directly related to blood alcohol concentration. So instruments to measure breath alcohol concentration they own the possibility to transform the rough datum in blood alcohol concentration. It is important to mention that blood passes the placental barrier. So, the blood consumed by a pregnant mother arrives to the fetus. And since alcohol is a teratogen, the damage made by alcohol to the fetus are irreversible. Exposure to maternal alcohol during fetal lives causes a permanent disability, neurological and physical disability, called fetal alcohol syndrome. This occurs in women who consume regularly alcohol. But all the other women consuming in any case some kind of alcohol can develop a newborn with fetal alcohol spectrum disorders, an umbrella of neurological, behavioral and physical disorders 
which account for fatal exposure to alcohol. Since we don't know the amount of alcohol which can be freely drunk by a pregnant mother with no consequences for the fetus, we say zero alcohol during pregnancy and when you desire to have a baby. Because usually we know that 50% of pregnancy are not organized, so they um, occur by chance. And in the first month of pregnancy, maybe the woman is not conscious that he, she is pregnant and she can drink. So once again we say zero alcohol during pregnancy and when you desire to have a baby. Alcohol affects and impairs brain cells because alcohol presents receptors, specific receptors, in the GABAergic neurotransmission. When alcohol passes the blood-brain barrier and reaches the GABAergic neurotransmission, at low concentration we have a sense of euphoria and then we have a sense of sedation. We know that alcohol presents a very high abuse liability and it is the most consumed legal drugs of abuse. So many alcoholic persons are present all over the world with many pathologies, liver pathologies for first. They die by cirrhosis. There are detoxification centers which can help people addicted to alcohol. The withdrawal syndrome is perceived with nausea, upset of stomach, headache, profuse sweating, but we can arrive to have hallucination, severe tremors, up to seizures. For those, there are pharmaceutical who can treat symptomatically, but also non-symptomatically, the alcohol withdrawal. One of them is GHB, used to treat alcohol withdrawal. GHB also owns receptor on on GABAergic transmission, so it can substitute alcohol. But there are other medicaments and pharmaceutical which once assumed let the person with very bad feeling when he tries to re-drink alcohol, like sulfuramide. The examination of alcohol in bloody fluids is important, for example, in cases of workplace drug testing or driving under the influence of drug and of alcohol, apart from the cases of acute intoxication seen at the emergency in which can be of importance to measure the concentration of alcohol in bloody stream. As I told you before, there is an easy measurement of alcohol in expired hair with some instruments called alcoholimeters, in which the expired air is sent and the percentage of alcohol measured. There is a number, a constant, which transforms the value of breath alcohol concentration in blood alcohol concentration. There are limits established for the value of blood alcohol concentration, legally established in case of workplace drug testing and also in case of driving under the influence of drug. A value of 0.5% BAC is the first cutoff to identify alcohol consumption. 
below this value, the individual is not considered to have assumed too much alcohol. So he can drive and he can work. But equal or up to 0.5%, the individual is considered to have consumed alcohol. So he is stopped from risky working, for example, truck drivers, bus school drivers, hair pilots, and when it is measured at the roadside, the individual is stopped and the drive license is removed. In some countries, some European countries, there is the law of zero tolerance. This means that professional drivers or young drivers cannot present any value of alcohol in their expired hair and so in blood. So the only value it can be measured in these cases is zero. Above zero, in case of professional drivers, the driving license is removed, at least for a certain point of time. Above 0.8% BAC, license can be removed for here and car can be taken out from the drivers. Up to 1.5%, the driving license is removed forever and so is the vehicle. There is no sense in measuring alcoholuria, the content of alcohol in urine, because this value gives no information. Conversely, there are some biomarkers of alcohol consumption, such as fatty acid ethyl esters or ethyl glucuronide, which can be measured in blood, in urine, but also in hair, to reveal past chronic exposure of alcohol. There are the so-called cutoff values or threshold values above which an individual is considered a chronic heavy consumer of alcohol. And this is a medical legal proof. Ethyl glucuronide can be also measured in hair of pregnant women to verify if they are drinking or not during pregnancy trimesters and also in meconium, the first feces of the newborn, to see if the newborn has been exposed to alcohol and he can have consequences. This is done for early interventions to this permanent disability created by fetal exposure to alcohol. The consumption of alcohol, or better said, the harmful consumption of alcohol, has been a problem, and it is a problem in the Western world, which is now shifting to Asian world. We have, for example, to remember that 40% of car crashes all over the world are caused by alcohol or by the uh, hyperconsumption of alcohol. And also a lot of people die for the consequences of alcohol on the liver, on the brain, on the health status. And harmful consumption of alcohol not only affect the addicted individual, but also his of her family, possibly her fetus, when alcohol is consumed by the mother. So it is a problem affecting the entire society. The difference between alcohol and other substances of abuse is that together with tobacco smoke, alcohol is a legal consumption. There are some bannings because 
alcohol cannot be sold, for example, in Western countries, in people under the age of 18. And there are some countries which developed a politics of minimum alcohol price. To increase the price of alcohol and let difficult for young people to buy it. Other countries decided not to introduce the policy of minimum alcohol price. For example, the Mediterranean countries. Why? Because they export alcohol, especially wine, in all the other countries. But they put very important taxes on alcohol. So alcohol is, yes, an illegal substance, but it is not a cheap substance. In any case, in Eastern countries, for example, or in some Asiatic countries, when people cannot afford alcohol, can, in any case, produce illegal alcohol which is very harmful because sometimes it contains very toxic substances because it is homemade. It has been demonstrated that more than uh, taxes or minimum alcohol price, it is very important the non-acceptability of alcohol problematic consumption. I mean, in those countries in which there are very high taxes and very severe laws against alcohol consumption, but alcohol consumption, problematic consumption and drunkenness are all accepted, alcohol is more consumed. Other countries in which maybe the law is not so hard, but there is a social inacceptability of alcohol problematic consumption and drunkness. So, for example, a drunk individual is not accepted in a dinner or among friends. Here we observe a lower consumption of alcohol because this habit is not accepted by the society. This seems to be the measure which works well with the problem of alcohol addiction. Another last important factor that we already mentioned, it is that when alcohol is introduced within the family habits, the consume tend to be moderate because at the same time, alcohol is perceived like a sort of food consumed during the principal meals, while when alcohol starts to be consumed outside the family, the problematic consumption seems to be increased. The Mediterranean, the Mediterranean youngster are the first in starting alcohol habit because they start inside the family with the Christian habits many times. But at the same time, they are the ones who less than the others are binge drinkers or drunk. This was a comparison between the Mediterranean youngster consuming alcohol and from the other regions. The message given by the family should be that alcohol should be always moderately consumed and during meals and never binge drunk. The young people should be aware with respect to some new forms of alcohol beverages introduced called alcopops. We are very colored, very smart, very attractive. They seem to be like soft drink, but they are not because they have alcohol inside. And if you consume one, two or three bottles in a night in a disco, you are consuming alcohol. So these young people have to be warned against this new form of alcohol advertisement and 
uh, serving. Thank you.